Hi, in this tutorial, we will learn how to concatenate multiple cell values quickly. In column A, I have employee names. In column B, I have project IDs. Column A has duplicate values because employees are associated with multiple projects. Now, the task is that in one cell, we need to check or we need to get all the project IDs each employee is associated with. So let me uh, show you what is the exact requirement. Let me select the data. I will go to data tab and apply filter. Let me select one name. Now here we can see that employee Anshul is associated with one, two, three, four, five projects. So output which is required is the name of employee and in that in the next cell all the project IDs like here I will write one zero zero two comma one zero zero eight comma 1012 comma 1018 comma 1020 so here we can see that Anshul is associated with five projects and output which is required is name of employee and all the project IDs for that employee so how we can do this? Let's see. Let me remove the filter. So to complete this task, what I'll do? First, I will sort the data by employee name. I will select all these columns. Data, sort. Here I will sort by employee. Now we can see that all the data is sorted by employee name and we can see that employee Anshul is coming consistently. So here we can apply formula and concatenate all the project IDs. Let's see what is that formula equal to if open brackets a2 is equal to a1 then c1 sign of ampersand comma inverted comma then comma and space then comma sign of ampersand and b2 else only b2 cell and close the bracket so this is the formula we can use i will press enter now i will drag this formula down let me freeze the first row now we can see that values are concatenated in column C but we need to use only last row for each employee that means for Anshul we should use only last row which is this one. Now how to identify last row for each employee? For that we can write a formula in column D let's say last row equal to if bracket star A2 is not equal to 
this sign is for not equal to a3 that means this is last line or last row for this employee now i will drag this formula also down and we can see that for anshul we have identified last row now this is how we can concatenate multiple values based on other columns condition so what i'll do i will click here then i will apply filter and here i will select last row only and this data is exactly required i'll copy this data maybe i will go to the next sheet and right click paste a special as value so our task is done i will delete this column and the requirement was to check that each employee is associated with how many project so this is how by using the formulations we can check and we can concatenate multiple cell values thank you